you're in luck, folks. We have an adorable episode with Hillary and Jake Owen of the awesome band Mirrors, spelled a little differently, M-I-R-O-U-R-S. They make us laugh. They make us cry in a good way. We talk about back in my day, talk about coffee mugs, breaking them, spiders, so much fun stuff. This is a really fun episode. Here we go. Uh, so Jake and Hillary, correct? Yeah. yeah. Great. Welcome oh. to Bothering the Band. Hey, thank you. Thanks. Good to meet you. What are you guys' names? Uh, so I'm Ryan. This is my lovely producer, Abby. Hello. Very good to meet you. Yeah, thanks so much for doing this. We're real stoked. Uh, I've been playing your music all around the house uh, for the last week or so. Thank you. You have a big fan, not only of myself, but my daughter as well. So. Aww. That's, oh, that's awesome. How old's your daughter? She's seven. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Just the yeah. one? Just the one. So I'm sure you get this a lot. What's it like playing music with your spouse? <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been doing it for a long time. We have. Yeah. And it's, it's actually really nice. You know, it's yeah. comfortable. It's very familiar and safe. And, you know, we happen to be pretty close friends uh, as well. Yes. So that really yeah. helps. <laughs> it's a very trusting, fun, playful experience. It is all those things. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, and it's cool because, you know, I mean, I feel, I mean, I don't know. I've never been in like a, a band apart from the one I'm in with my wife, but I feel like in other bands, you know, like you come up with an idea, you work through the sucky part of it and then you bring it to the rest of the band, but we get to hear the sucky parts of every idea <laughs> right away, right away. It's beautiful. <laughs> Uh, there's plenty of times where we know right away that something's yeah. not gonna work you get like every ounce of the idea mm -hmm. from inception to you know what you guys get to hear so it's fun though we we have a lot of fun we uh like she said we've been doing it for a long time so is it like a thing where you just don't know any other way this is just how you've been doing it I mean, for us, I mean, kind of, right? I think you would know other ways because you've yeah. worked with other musicians and all that kind of stuff. But when it comes to writing music in a band, at least for myself, I don't know that I would have another way to of doing it. Because he's actually, he can read music. He can speak that language. He can play several instruments. And I have one, <laughs> I have one instrument <laughs> and no language. I'm musically illiterate. I rely on my ear. So a lot That's of the time, ear. thanks. <laughs> but a lot of the times I have to just try to put things together and say, this is what I'm thinking. And he has to be a mind reader and translator. And I have a very good it. translator in jake so if without him i don't know that i could do anything jake do you <laughs> do you do you find that uh and i'll i'll get i'll explain this a little more do you find that her kind of naivete in helps i feel like it allows for so much more creativity because she's not confined with like I the mean, musical barometers one thousand percent i remember like when we were for when we were working on our first record uh we like that was the that was the beginning like of us like we never written together before mirrors or anything like that and we've always ever written apart like yeah. even on this album like we wrote separate ideas like we often like we kind of workshop the ideas you know solo and then we kind of bring them to each other but i remember on the first uh the first record she would like she was bringing me ideas and i was like well this song doesn't have a chorus or like, you know, like just like simple things like that where I'm like, well, what, like, so you have verse and then it moves to this part and then it goes to not a verse. Like what is, it's not a, like, so just like her, she, her way of thinking is, was like so different for me. And I actually feel like that's kind of what's cool about our first album particularly is like some of the songs, like, it's not that like, they're so wild. Like we're not like, you know, this like super awesome whatever but like some of the songs are like they just like follow this like structure that is the structure in that was in her mind and it kind of made for some really cool opportunities so I, yeah I think it's kind of 
I like that. Like I, I like, we kind of both bring something different and for sure, I think, I mean, not to speak for you, but I think one of the cool things that she does bring is just like that, like the rules don't exist when, you know what I mean? Like when you don't know the rules, then like <laughs> there are, there are no rules. And so it's kind of, it's, it kind of is pretty freeing in a lot of ways. So. Yeah. yeah that's exactly what I was getting at pretty much where there are, when there are no confines, you kind of go places that you wouldn't, normally go yeah i mean in music in general i mean like it who wants to put it too much in a box anyway you know so absolutely it's it's very similar to what we started this podcast just because we're music geeks we are just fans we can't play music whatsoever and (laughs) i i was just on a podcast and they started asking me all these podcasty questions and i was like i don't know i we just do what we do (laughs) I don't know the answer to these. <laughs> total side so, note. Total side note. And I don't know, like, do people do people watch this or the, do they only hear it? Because if they're watching, like, are you in an A-frame cabin or something? Like, <gasps> I, am, I grew I'm, up in an A-frame that my dad built, and uh, so I'm like fascinated by this room that you're in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is my my bedroom. I own an A-frame cabin in Wyoming. So oh my wonderful. gosh, that, that's so awesome! That's and it's, my it's currently snow covered. Oh, wow. That's glorious. We don't have that going on here in Northern California. <laughs> no. I'll trade you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The grass is always snowier on the other mm-hmm. side. Yeah. 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 And she has a pretty gangster uh, skylight right above her bed. And there's like really? pine, pine trees and like, wow. it's very beautiful. Oh, yeah. that is, that is beautiful. So serene. <laughs> so serene. <laughs> cool. Uh, I want both. Right. I want to go where both of you are. <laughs> Anytime. Yeah. yeah. Well. Um. So, who cleans the bathroom? Who does the dishes? How do you divvy up the house chores? That's what America wants to know. Okay. Well, you, you know what? We actually just went on a little mini, uh, trip? like trip. Vacation. Yeah, a little getaway to celebrate the album coming out, and we're like so dialed now. Like we have somebody come and watch our animals so we have to like clean the house and like i mean bathroom i don't touch the bathroom which is a shame because i feel like i'm the one that makes it the dirtiest you know but like i you know yeah she she the bathroom gets so clean it's beautiful wow uh and then you know (laughs) but we we're good about sharing responsibilities we have a very healthy relationship when it comes to communication and one of our first fights when we got married was about that right thing. Cleaning. I'm tired of doing the dishes. Yeah, that's You know, true. just talking, you know, we were good at kind of talking it out. And, you know, I think we're supportive of each other in those silly things by now. I think I, we have it figured out now. I do the cat box. That's right. Ah, okay. That I was, was just my, about to ask. That was my duty growing up, you know. I've moved on, you know. See, my cat grew up outside growing, like when I was growing up, my cat you know, it was indoor outdoor. Cause like I said, I lived in an A-frame in the freaking woods. It felt like, so, uh, doing a cat box was like, yeah. you guys want to keep talking about cat boxes? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like that you're calling it a cat box. box. We could go on cat box and bathroom. Do you call it a litter box? Is oh, cat I do. Box I would naturally call it a litter box. Litter box is what I go to the bathroom in. The cat box. <laughs> is- <laughs> yeah. It's it's different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's not the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Let's keep going down this rabbit hole. Like, yeah, what, yeah, kind of, yeah, what, yeah. what brand? We have a, yeah. Well, we have one for rabbits, too. <laughs> we don't have rabbits. No, we don't. Have rabbits. We don't want to leave <laughs> rabbit hole. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's solid gold. So, are you guys in um, Sacramento? We're like, I mean, we say we're from Sacramento, mm-hmm. uh, but we're like 20 minutes outside of it. We're like, you know, 15 miles out from Sacramento. Mm-hmm. We're in a, uh, we're in like a small town called Lincoln, okay, uh, which is just like a little bit north of of Sacramento. But but we do all our like dates in Sacramento, so I feel like you know that counts. <laughs> yeah, that counts. <laughs> yeah, that counts no, but yeah. So we're we're like, I mean, we're yeah, we're we're close to Sacramento. Uh, I'm in Florida right now, and the only city you would probably know by me is Fort Lauderdale. So I would yeah. say that. But it, yeah. it's like you know thirty. 30 minutes away mm-hmm. yeah because so, what yeah so what's the actual what's the town that you're where are Parkland, you at? parkland florida see that's why you got to say fort lauderdale because like <laughs> no one 
<laughs> yeah, like it's like we're if we say Lincoln, people are like, oh, well, okay, Nebraska. Like, yeah, like, oh, you know? Nebraska. Yeah. Uh, so this is a fun question. Have you ever slept outside in public in Sacramento? Have we ever slept outside in public? By on purpose or accident? On purpose or accident? I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> We never let our guards down. We're ready to take them. You gotta be alert. There's no napping in Sacramento. <laughs> I need, I need my, I need my, like my Tempur-Pedic, whatever pillow, like, you know. It's not tempur What is it? It's some knockoff brand. <laughs> I, I just found out right now that it's I have not a, Tempur-Pedic. That I have a knockoff brand pillow. We roll with on brand? It's That's true. Tempur-Pedic. It's like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no i yeah no we i i mean yeah i haven't slept what an interesting I don't think... question what brought this on <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. So, I'm so happy you asked uh i spent a night at the sacramento train station once oh uh, yeah and i slept with my guard up as well uh <laughs> when i <laughs> when i finished college i traveled around the country by train and the train is very late going everywhere and so i got into sacramento and i had a changeover the next day but it was so late that there was no getting a hotel and this is like 2003 or 2004 where cell phones were not the same so i just i posted up wow. oh my I, gosh that's amazing yeah. in the downtown train station i forget whether it's called but you might know well, the Amtrak there. station. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, no one, no one messed with me. I mean, again, this is almost 20 years ago, but I did write down no <laughs> napping, no napping in Sacramento. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> you wrote that too. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, oh man, this is fun already. What's your favorite cover song of all time? Oh, favorite cover <laughs> oh, song? Oh my gosh. Tough. Uh oh. I mean, listen, my, that's a, that is such a hard question, but <laughs> the one that immediately comes to mind is on the John Mayer, I knew it. John Mayer, uh, <laughs> where the light is live album free, his cover of free fallen. Oh, okay. It is, it is so good. Yeah. It is so good. Uh, and I actually saw him live do during that tour and it was amazing and i saw him do that live but i don't know that song it, that's a good one it's like i feel like covers are dicey sometimes because like you know like i mean it's hard i i feel like most of the time they're not as good as the the orig but in that particular <laughs> i just said a ridge like i'm like what like andy from the office or something like that like <laughs> oh yeah uh, yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> You're going to fit right in with us. Oh we, my we, gosh. we abbreviate, we abbreviate quite a bit. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's, I, that's gotta be, that's gotta be up there. It's the only one I can think of right now. What Hillary, do what do you got? Oh my gosh. I was scanning through all the cover songs I could think of, but that's that was a tough the first one. one. That was the first one I landed on. Really? Too. Yeah. Oh, well, we guys, kinda, that's, we're in love. Oh my gosh. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> but that is something that, I mean, we would listen to that album on road trips and stuff. So it holds a special yeah. place. Oh, that's, yeah. Abby, do you have one? I don't think she's, no. I can't think of, it's a tough one. My first instinct for some reason, this is not a favorite. It just went to uh, Pearl Jam's last kiss mm. for some reason. Okay. Or yeah, that's, that's the first one I, I thought of. There's so. Yeah that's a tough question good job yeah, i i feel like i should have thought about this before <laughs> well actually, now you're gonna now we're gonna i should think about know it. I right should when know. we're done you're gonna you're gonna have a list on my temper right. and be like <laughs> oh my gosh what is it <laughs> <laughs> oh that's fun have you heard uh mayor's new album sob rock mm -hmm. i haven't heard the whole thing which is yeah i haven't I, why I, you no love me? Yeah, why you no love me? I've heard that one. Um, yeah, I haven't heard the whole thing. But it's not bad. I dig it. I kind of always like. There's like a place in my heart that just John Mayer occupies at all times. I just feel like no matter what, I just 
I just love a little JM, you know? He, he's a big listener. But so then again, I haven't listened this. to his old new album. So <laughs> there you go. Sorry, John, if you're listening to this, hey, first of all, thanks for listening. And second <laughs> of all, uh, sorry, man. Second of all, do the podcast. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Jump on <laughs> in. Yeah. Do you believe in bad luck? Uh, I mean. Oh, man. I tend to knock on wood myself. I do knock on wood. Oh, no. But I don't know. Not really. I just think bad stuff happens. And that's just part of living on Earth. Some people say everything happens for a reason. And I don't believe that that's necessarily true. I think that everything can be used in a really good way for your life. And, you know, good things can come from terrible things, but sometimes just bad, unexplained, unfair stuff happens. And I find peace in that. <laughs> it's, like, it's just not, sometimes stuff, bad stuff happens. It's I, I agree. Control. Jake, good luck topping that one. <laughs> or bad luck topping that one, depending on what I believe in. <laughs> I mean, you just, you just set me up for that one, dude. This is like, <laughs> I had to. Um, Knocked it out of the park. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I agree. I think that things happen, and you know, sometimes they suck, and then sometimes they happen all in a row, and then it feel, <laughs> and then it feels like bad luck. Uh, and maybe there, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> but I don't know. Right when we're done with this podcast, you, you're going to be laying in your in your Semperpedic and you're going to be thinking right. of covers and answers to bad luck. And... Yep. Speaking of bad luck, what's the last thing you broke? Oh. Oh, oh, you want to take this one? Yeah. <laughs> so this was that this morning or last it was last night. It was it was yesterday evening. It was yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wanted to get some Christmas decorations from our shed in the back and <laughs> normally you're the breaker of things but it was me this time i'm not normally the breaker all our mugs oh yeah i, <laughs> I have bad luck when it comes to i break <gasps> I, it's real guys okay i take my old question luck yeah bad luck exists with mugs with Virginia. mugs uh no okay keep going all this right, is a good one okay so i was you know going to grab something and Jake was like, oh, it's a spider. So I would. No, no, no. I did not say, oh, there's a spider. You said, oh. No, you saw spider. you. This is the story that you've crafted <laughs> to make. You, you saw a, a fleck of dust, which no. was dangling from you, a cobweb. You said, oh, uh -uh. And, you drew attention and to and it. Then, it scared then, me. And then in your mind. You vocalized. <laughs> I thought it was about the spider. I mean, I definitely did. <laughs> I believe in my heart. Put me on the stand. Hook me up to a lie detector test. He was like, oh, a spider. He may not have said spider, but I sure I believed he did. So I thought this spider was going to come get me, which, you know, like you said, we don't take naps. We're on alert. There's that mm -hmm. spider's coming for me. And so I ditched the thing that, that was. That it's was like beautiful <laughs> glass. Thing. it's a what terrarium is, it's a terrarium with oh, with yeah. a little christmas tree in it from our wedding and and it just exploded I, <laughs> and exploded. it has like little like vintage looking christmas trees in it and uh it's no longer with us um it's but... actually still out in the shed if you guys want to come over and help us clean it up yeah well, the spiders will take the it. the spiders got it <laughs> i'll clean the bathroom but the shed is oh too my far. gosh <laughs> Yeah, that thing broke into a million pieces. What if you went back in the shed and it was put together? Okay, that would be so freaking creepy, dude. If we, <laughs> if it was just assembled like just in the corner reassembled. of the shed. We'd have to leave an offering for... And like whatever. a little note, like Merry Christmas. like so, With, On a spider <laughs> web? Ho, 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 happy holidays. <laughs> just like, <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. On a little spider web inside the terrarium on one of the trees. It was like, you're welcome yeah <laughs> oh man oh this is fun i feel like we're on a double date and this, this is the first is time great. we've been out in like in a year and we're just yeah this is this. yeah this is the closest thing to, to going out that we've done <laughs> oh my okay. god when your mind wanders where does it go i wish i knew maybe i could find it uh 
I mean, to, it's like, my mind goes to like, imagine if you had like 10 books open all at once and then you were just like reading a part of one page and then you jump to another part of another page and then another part of another, like another book. Wow. That's what my brain does. And she okay. sees it happen. Yes. I just drift off into the great yeah. unknown. He's I, a big dreamer. Yeah. I don't know. My brain goes, you know, now it's going to spiders, but mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. All over the place. Oh, just all over. I'm definitely going to steal that metaphor. Cause that's, that's pretty good. It, it makes me think of two. One, let's go back to how many coffee mugs have you broken? Recently? <laughs> Okay, first of all, first of all, we have way too many coffee mugs. I don't know if you guys like, do you have the like when mugs are just stacked on mugs, it's too many. Okay? Mugs on mugs on mugs, yeah. Mugs on mugs. And we got mugs on mugs. And uh yeah, I mean, I think it's a family, it's a family curse. You've got to have a mug for every mood. Yeah, I break I like put a mug in the dishwasher. Warsher. And then washer up and then and then it'll just explode. Like when and it's only when I do it. <laughs> Uh, or, you know, I don't know, or I'll be washing something and then a mug's on the counter in the other room at my grandparents' house or something. <laughs> and I'll break that mug. Yeah. It feels like, mm-hmm. I don't know. How to, I don't okay. know. It a lot of hard. mugs. I broke, I've broken a lot of mugs, but I'm not a clumsy person. That's important that the viewers know is I'm not clumsy. I just break <laughs> mugs. Yeah. It's, I'm, all, I, it's yeah. just mugs. I love that. It's just mugs. Abby, what were you going to say? You break mugs? Oh, no, I'm just saying you got to have a mug for every purpose as well as every mood. Like I have a soup mug. I have a tea mug. Yeah, I have a coffee we, mug. Yes. And then I you agree. have like, and then you have like a favorite, which always mm-hmm. kind of every season, it kind of changes. It does. Yeah. See, and then we always want to buy more mugs, but we're like, we don't need them, but then we buy them anyway. Yeah. They're cheap souvenirs. They're cheap, exactly. great souvenirs. Know, and they're, they're practical great. and you use them. And this episode is brought to you by mugs in general. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys have a mug? No. I wish. wish. I don't. I have a water. Oh, I just meant like the brand. Is there a brand? Oh, we yeah. should. Yeah. See? We Up have next. shirts. We should have, we have a mug. Shirts. Too. We should have a mug. Yeah. Okay. If, if you guys make mugs, we'll buy them and we'll make yeah. mugs and, and send yeah. you some. I love no, we'll buy, we'll buy your mug. Come on, or now. just trade. Yeah, yeah. Hi, I love it. Paying for this dinner, <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll buy the mug. Good thing it's at Red Lobster. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Speaking of dinner, and this, this written down. How do you feel about open face sandwiches? Listen, I love a, a I love I love an open face sandwich. First of all, it's important to note that we are we are vegan. So we're mm-hmm. going to disappoint some people. Probably we don't just like throw meat on an open face sourdough or something like that. We love sourdough. We love sourdough, but it's got like chickpea on top, which chickpea I salad sandwiches. Oh, open goodness. face open is the face. way to go for those. Oh, come on. It's so good. Yeah. Who doesn't like an open face? It's like you get two sandwiches for the price of one because <laughs> then you can put double like you can put so much more on each individual piece of bread. Yeah. It needs to be a hearty bread, though. Correct? Yeah. It's got to be a good bread. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. What's your favorite kind of bread? Mm, it depends on the sandwich. Yeah. Okay, that's true. But if you, mm-hmm. okay. If I like you a had, brioche. You're on a desert Ooh. island. Okay. And for some reason you chose to bring bread. That's going to mold. <laughs> I got it. But you're on that island with your about to be moldy bread. What kind of bread are you rocking? Challah bread. What kind of bread? Challah bread. Hala. Is that, I mean, have I had that? Yes. No, probably not. If you probably really had it in French toast form. It's a Jewish bread, but it's like braided. I guarantee no. you've had it with just you. No one calls it. Is it, it spongy? It's Is it spongy? It's a, a little bit. It's br- it's brioche. Huh? Yes, it is brioche. brioche. It is brioche. Oh, okay. <laughs> and you, Abby? Ooh, I like hollow bread. I make a real mean hollow bread, but I would go garlic bread. Ooh, garlic bread is garlic good. Bread, period. I mean, garlic bread is, come on. It's come so on. good. Come on. I didn't even know we that do, was on the we table. Do, we do an occasional, we do an occasional, uh, like homemade, like French bread pizza. You know what I'm talking about? Business. It's the business. But the, the secret trick is that you pre-make 
the bread as garlic bread. And then once it's garlic breadified, then you assemble the pizza and then you bake it again. And it's really good. It's very good. Just to bring it all back for dinner the other night, I had open face sandwiches on garlic bread. Heck yeah, you did. Oh, all right. In your A-frame and then just with the snow. It's the A for Abby. Oh. That's the first time she's ever done that. That's that was good. Bravo. And that's our show. See you later. That's it. <laughs> where, where are you? Where are you both from originally? Uh, you you want to go? Powder space. This is where okay. I was born. Okay. Uh, there. No, I was born in Orange County. Okay. So I grew up in Southern California area, mm-hmm. Santa Ana. And then moved up north to Northern California uh, in 2001. So I've been in Northern California a long time. Yeah. But yeah, and it's, it's like a different world living in Northern California as opposed to Southern California. It's a oh, very I, I, different I... vibe. And I really love, I love visiting Southern California and I miss the beach, but I really love NorCal and all its wonder with- And all its seasons. There's actual seasons. I love uh, that. I love, I love that. that. We can that. see leaves turn. We don't get a lot of snow. Very little bit if you go up the hill. Um, but it's. I love Northern California. You can go to peaceful places. You can go to beaches, but they're not really. It's not the same as Southern California mm-hmm. beaches. And that's true. Then you can go to the city, Sacramento and San Fran. So you're just like right there. It's a, it's a nice spot. Yeah. And Jake was. I'm from. Yeah, I'm from. I'm from Sacramento, and so by that nice. I mean I'm from a town over. Uh, no, I, yeah, I grew up here. My mm-hmm. my family up the hill. Yeah, up the hill. Um, fun fact: so my family, I grew up in a, I grew up in like a town called El Dorado Hills, which is like, if you know anything about you know this area, El Dorado Hills is like pretty fancy pants. Mm-hmm. Uh, but my family like accidentally lived there. Like we way before. We, yeah. Like my grandparents bought land in El Dorado Hills, like in the sixties and way then before it was populated. Yeah. Like, and then like my dad used to ride horses around, uh, and he built the house that, you know, the A frame I was talking about, he built that, mm-hmm. but then like, and then like the town, like El Dorado Hills then became really fancy, like grew around us. So yeah. we were always like, it was, it became a NorCal Beverly Hills. Yeah. It's like so weird. And Cause we were like accidentally there. <laughs> yeah. We were, we always joke like, yeah, we were accidentally in a nice part of town. Yeah. Uh, but we were not, we, my family was not the nice part of town mm-hmm. <laughs> or maybe we were depending on what your taste yeah. is. Uh, but we, yeah, oh, we, it was, it, it was, we, <laughs> It was, uh, it was dirty and, uh, we built a lot of forts. Um, Oh, that sounds fun. I want to do that now. Yeah. We've built so many forts and, uh, I grew up. Yeah. So I grew up here and then I moved, you know, 20 minutes away. (laughs) 40. 40. Very important. (laughs) I love it. You, you guys are actually our second, um, second, Sacramento. He doesn't live there anymore, but a musician named Trey Burt. Do you know this fellow? Who is this no. Trey Burt? Why is he not at my house? <laughs> he, he just moved to Nashville. He's like a folky singer, songwriter, closer to like John Prine, you know. Oh, nice. Country. Oh. Mm-hmm. Um, he, he made the jump over to Nashville. He made the jump. You know, a lot of people who jump, who've jumped over to Nashville. That's awesome. Yeah. So. And I have a special place for Sacramento in my heart from sleeping at the train station. Yeah, that yeah. is special. Next time you you come here, uh, you know, don't uh, don't do that. Come, <laughs> don't come, don't, don't that. come to our house. I don't be gonna... a hobo. No, don't you. Be I mean, stranger. no. I'm just saying, you just come to our house. You sleep. You can nap here. We have a king size bed, and we're not very big. There's no napping in Sacramento. And we, yeah, you can you can just yeah. lap right in the middle. We're right by a train. <laughs> We, we actually right are by right by a train and it's super loud, but we don't, I feel, feel like, right we, at home. yeah, we don't notice it. I'm going to bring you a terrarium, a little Christmas tree. <laughs> Please do. And, uh, and mugs. Yeah. Br- put the mugs in the terrarium. <laughs> um, have you ever complained to a manager at a restaurant? 
And if oh so, why? Gosh. Uh, like your worst nightmare. Yeah, like way to, <laughs> way to bring it up. <laughs> um, no, I no. I mean, not maybe no. And it doesn't no, have to I, be like rude. I mean, yes, I think most people have. I have. Ooh. I've blocked every time he out of my it. memory. I hate it. He hates it. My philo- I just like. I feel like you know people work hard, yeah. and I I will eat anything in front of me. Mm-hmm. And no, you won't. I won't. No, you no. won't. I have oh. a story. We I yelled at somebody. Are we allowed? To, <laughs> can we say the restaurant? They're big corporate fat cats. They don't. Yes. Care. Then yeah, of course. It was Chipotle. Oh. Okay. All right. Get out of here, Chipotle. <laughs> I remember this story. Yeah. They're a sponsor. Oh. They're they're gonna drop us oh, now. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> all right well thank you guys it's been great thanks so much yeah. yeah but they were they were having some troubles you know getting stuff right and one of the like many times where we we're just like oh. Oh, this isn't quite right they had there were chunks of steak in our vegan bowls and i know it was, you know we aren't big complainers but it was kind of like hey you know this was like up. the fifth time that they screwed up yeah our effing bowls <laughs> And when, when, when Jake's hungry, you got to be careful. Oh, no, that's sorry, right. I'm but anyhow, yeah, we eat did have spider. to. You, yeah, that's true. I've seen it happen. He'll break spiders it. aren't vegan. Eat spiders. <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, you won't. But we did have to tell, you know, a manager over there about it because they should know so they can get better. They, they want the opportunity to make things right and all that. She's making this way sweeter than it is. Listen, Chipotle, if you're listening <laughs> to this with John Mayer, <laughs> You know, I don't want to spend two seventy five. I know it's extra for guacamole, and that's all I asked for anyway. So just get out of here. <laughs> we don't we don't like being complainers. That's true. But I feel like if you're gonna help, you know, communicate an issue that they could get better, and you probably should. I would appreciate it. That's a very nice thing to say. That is very I diplomatic. Know. I worked in restaurants for. 15 years and Mm -hmm. there's a a right way and a wrong way to complain and and most restaurant staff won't get mad if you're like hey i'm so sorry there's i don't eat meat there's meat in my my stuff they were so nice most most of the time they're like i'm so sorry here you go but it's the jerks the jerks yeah it's how you do it it's how you approach it that's right i i work in retail currently also also you're in you're in california they Chipotle, they should, there should be two Chipotles. I know. Vegan Chipotle and then meat <laughs> Chipotle right next door to each other. You would think. <clears throat> no. <laughs> That's oh actually God. a good idea. Chipotle, call in. We good got idea. some ideas here. They're Heck too yeah. upset. They don't want to talk about <laughs> it. Yeah. <they're>, yeah. <laughs> you don't need all those, all those seats. So just cut the restaurant in half and do it. That's a, not a bad idea. Great suggestion. That's a great idea. Let's just start a restaurant like that. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um in your opinion this is so dumb in your opinion who is the fairest one of all <laughs> who is the fairest one who, who, mirror, who mirror wrote on this question wall? listen I, I, who, <laughs> okay I who is? first of all this is a great question all right uh, <laughs> i was proud and, and here's here's <laughs> here's the reality i'm i'm gonna take a spin on it but i don't know if you could tell, but I burned so easily in the sun. <laughs> so I think technically I would actually be the fairest of them all. Yeah. Like it's bad, guys. Yeah. It's bad. I guess yeah. I've had sun poisoning for no reason. Yeah, in seventy degree weather. At night, in the, in the middle of the <laughs> night. <laughs> I gotta put like toothpaste on my skin just to keep the sun away. Yeah. So uh, fairest of them all me <laughs> yeah i like your wordplay you like that, I respect yeah. that. thank you mm-hmm. <laughs> no uh it's i, I feel know. like that's a fair answer that, oh. that is <laughs> this is such it. gold you guys are getting oh, solid gold. this is great yes. this is solid gold <laughs> um however i you could have said oh my my lovely wife is the fairest it doesn't have to be complexion that's true. I don't think that's what Snow White or Sleeping Beauty. What's it from? I don't it's think. Snow White. What, it's Listen, Snow White. Listen, we're right. Why you gotta throw me under the bus? <laughs> <laughs> Why you gotta throw me under the train? We'll uh, we'll edit that out. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
No, it's people need to know it is this real. This is a real marriage. Leave, leave it. Let them know. <laughs> this is real. It's as real as it gets. It. Sacramento don't act. Uh, <laughs> this is perfect. Perfect segue. What's the last thing that just made you smile aside from this awesome podcast? I was That's actually going to say <gasps> you, you guys. Uh, I got one. What? When I came home from work, which was not long ago. I was like, I was running late. I was like, I don't want to be late for the interview. And I walk up the steps and I see there's a Christmas wreath on the door and there's a Christmas welcome mat. And I was like, oh, I just knew that he had decorated the house for Christmas. And so I was real, I was legitimately smiling. And so I opened the door and he had the whole house decorated for Christmas with twinkle lights and holly everywhere. And it was so beautiful and magical. That's, that wasn't even, you guys didn't even have to ask that. So I'm glad you did because that's a little window into Jake. He's very, he's very thoughtful and cute. Romantic. my goodness that's I so know. cute Didn't my me. face hurts from smiling <laughs> right yeah, it smelled like christmas too we had christmas candles lit oh that's that, that's wow you really stepped it up well <laughs> i did it for you <laughs> perfect You're like, listen we have a podcast let's decorate for christmas oh. yeah 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 whoa whoa whoa, whoa. <laughs> no I was, yeah i could hear i could hear her outside the door <laughs> going oh it was really cute it was yeah i, I liked it oh barf way to go way to go bravo i'm i'm very impressed that was that was that was a swell sweet answer do you bite your nails uh not i i do Man. i do I'm, i've tried to quit i decided it's not for me yeah um no, I, yeah, I buy my nails, but then I recently, I, although they're not right now, they're actually pretty good right now. I got some, yeah. Yeah, you're getting better. But I started uh, like six months ago, we started like painting my nails and it's just mm. like, it helps so much because I don't want to, they look beautiful. Not and, right now. And then I don't want to bite off the, the stuff. So we got to paint, we got to paint I them know. again. I know. Yeah, right. we got to paint them. Yeah. But I what, buy color, what color are you going to go next? Uh, just like, listen, uh, it's whatever, <laughs> whatever the heart wants, you know, you just it's like mugs, you know? Yeah. yeah. Last yeah. time we did, uh, we did like smiley. Yeah. Last time we did smiley faces. It was like yellow and black and black. One hand was yellow with black smiley faces. And the other one was black with little yellow smiley faces. It was beautiful. I don't know. I'm Is feeling this what you want to know. <laughs> I'm feeling, Absolutely. I'm feeling, I'm feeling maybe like a gold, this is fun. a gold, you yeah, know, we have gold. We do have gold. Yeah, let's do gold. Let's go. Wait, gold. you do his, or you don't go and you don't go to like. I a do. Yeah, I do his place. Nails. Oh, sure. that's cool. I need someone to do my nails, Abby. Get on yeah, if you buy your nails, <laughs> or even if you just want to, it's get on over. It's wonderful. I I dig it. I'm on board with that. It's so relaxing too when you're. Yeah. Doing yeah, it also adds just like flair, which I'm all about. You know. Yeah. yeah. It's like this I whole other world where I'm like, oh my gosh, and my my hands can be beautiful. This is great. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's good. See, you're you're nodding your head. Yeah. Yeah, I dig it. We both dig it. All right. <clears throat> what will be your back in my day story when you're old? Oh. Your go-to. Well, back in my day. Back in my day. Uh, this is an Abby question. That's a good one. Yeah, I, I feel like, like I'm question. I feel like I'm already doing that. I was just like um working with this band that's like uh t- like 19, 20 and I feel like so ancient. Uh <laughs> and I'm like talking about like like what? Like 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 pre-cell phones. I remember when uh I got my first cell, you know, like mm-hmm. or what's an iPod? Oh my gosh. Do you even Don't. like yeah, the iPod is is like the iPod can drink right now. Like it's crazy. <laughs> oh my god! That's yeah, wild. MySpace, like you talk about MySpace back in my day. What like? Yeah, MySpace. People will never. Eight. People will never know. You'd have to the, figure out how to do code and like you'd yeah, have like the top eight was and hearts. With no the one gets it how wonderful it was, and then to just freaking remove somebody when they were you know like. 
you were on my top eight and now you are not on my top eight and it's important that you can see it so but you can't yeah. because your internet's so slow because back in my day we had slow internet and my mom's <laughs> always on the phone yeah yeah she'd pick it up right then and there the like, room. Come on. yeah <laughs> come on AOL I remember, instant I remember, messenger i remember i remember there was this show uh it's i think it's still on maybe um i think it's like season 40 um like a, this show called big brother and mm-hmm. i was, you may have heard of it you may have heard of it i remember season <laughs> season like two i was in high school and uh there was an episode that they aired it friday at eight or whatever because back then you know you had to watch a show when it was whenever airing. it was on <laughs> yeah and so uh, for some reason, it was going to air at two in the morning this particular week. And so I set my alarm and I put a cup of uh, orange juice so in, the, in the fridge. I'm not kidding. I put a cup of orange juice in the fridge and I woke up at 1.55 or whatever in the morning. I grabbed my OJ and I went out to the living room in my A-frame and I watched Mike Boogie. Uh, uh, that he was my favorite character. Oh, and by the way, I also went, I printed out bios of all the, all the people. <laughs> I printed out bios on the computer so I could, and I kept them in a folder, a manila folder. So oh, I, that just made me think so of I one. could read to my friends. So I could tell them all the stats of all my favorite people on the show. Anyway, I woke up, I did that. So back on my day, uh, all wow. of the above, <laughs> like everything you said is wow, pretty yeah. back in my day. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, so back in my day, when I wanted to know the lyrics of a song, I wanted to connect with the song. I loved a lot of like Queen and Eagles and all that kind of stuff growing up. So I'd be sitting with a journal and I'd be listening so hard, <laughs> just writing down lyrics. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> wow. the lyrics. Wait. I did that. Uh, that's the, I didn't Google it because I listened so hard. Remember this song? We just we just had. Okay, speaking of that, what, was it only time? Oh, we were yes, the, it was we, Enya. Enya only. Can say when I, na, na, na. Uh-huh. The song is called <laughs> Only Time. We were driving like a month ago somewhere. He's gonna get me. And the lyric, it, the title of the song is Only Time, and that's also the lyric that comes around yeah 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 sure every line of the song you can say da, 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 only time and what did you think the lyric uh, was listen hold me tight she thought it was hold me tight who can <laughs> listening to lyrics i, I was like not babe foolproof. i was like babe the song title you get it is, wrong yeah i was like you went this whole time and you thought so anyway the journaling the journaling thing journaling thing is uh, effective well, That's brilliant. I've never heard of this listening and trying to interpret the lyrics to very hard songs. We well, back <laughs> like, in our day you had to do that, you know. Man. I needed you, to know what they were saying so badly. Well, that that <laughs> makes me remember um waiting for a song to come on and hitting record yes. on a tape. Yes, I did it. I Heck did it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's the good stuff. And I, not right knowing, over. yeah. Go ahead. I know we're riffing on this a lot, but I feel like there's just so much to hit on. This is the new theme of the podcast. I love it. I, <laughs> I, I have a really bad sense of direction. <laughs> and no. yeah, oh, that's nice. I definitely do. And so I would print out directions and kill them with me. And I'm driving my car trying to get somewhere. And I can't. What do I do with my directions? And it's showing me left turn, right turn on these streets. So I would like get so lost and so mad. Nothing would get me more angry than being lost in my car. There's no GPS. I didn't have a cell phone that was a smartphone. I just got lost and called my mom. It was like, mom, Hear- help me. Hearing us talk about this, like I feel, does it sound like I am my dad? Am I John Owen? It sounds like I'm <laughs> six. Yeah. It feels like we're so old. <laughs> Oh man, we're in our thirties, guys. I wouldn't trade it. Listen, I'm still in my thirties. I have a question. For one more year. Yes. Yeah, I love it. Bring it on. <laughs> Do you know who Bridget Fonda is? Bridget Fonda, I know the name. Wait, why are you? Why are you laughing? What is happening? What is going on? <laughs> I wasn't gonna ask it. I wasn't gonna ask it. I'm so I happy had you did. To. We started talking about mixtapes. I'm so happy you did. 
Let's go there. Yeah, please tell us what happened. Do you do you know who I this don't. person is? No. Oh my gosh, I feel like you had such a story, and I there's a story I'm, there I slightly. Get, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna Google it. She uh, she's an actress. She's the niece of Jane Fonda. I know. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. And she was huge in in the '90s. She she was very popular actress. Um, and I it seems that we are all very close in age. We've interviewed a lot of very lot of young people. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, so it got really fun to start asking them ridiculous questions like that. Um, most of them don't even know who Jane Fonda is either. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. That's most of them great. don't know what an iPod is. Um. Yeah. Oh yeah. L- l- wait. What made wait. you ask? Balto? Balto. She's a voice in Balto. <laughs> oh my gosh! Did you guys know that? I did not know that one, but she was in Jackie <laughs> Brown. White. She was in okay. Singles, okay. Single White Female. Oh. Yep. Guys. Wait. Can you show me a picture of Doc her? Hollywood? Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, she was in Doc Hollywood. I love Doc. Godfather Hollywood. Part Three. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Skin. Wait. There's a Twenty One Jump Street before 21 jump street in it was a tv yeah. show johnny TV. i know I was kidding. guys i was okay. totally kidding i'm kidding <laughs> really kidding. defensive i she just it. got so I mad the, i was like i own the whole collection are you serious my two favorite tv shows that i own do you own them on vhs uh, 21 jump street is vhs and oh, but my other favorite one is my so-called life which i have on dvd do you remember crap. that it's amazing <laughs> okay yep Okay, we see Bridget. Well, welcome to the Bridget Fonda podcast. Yeah, so we it, we just think it's real funny to ask, especially youngsters, if they I know feel who like this I very known. obscure <laughs> actress from the '90s is. Then we started upping the ante and asking more kind of relevant, but keeping it obscure. Like uh, I asked someone if they knew who Jason Siegel was. Do you know who <laughs> that is? People, there's no way people don't know who Jason Siegel is. Are you yeah. serious? Oh, it's like a, summer. it's like a 25, 75. I feel, okay. Don't... Forgetting Sarah Allie. Marshall, by the way, forgetting Sarah Marshall is, great it film. is like one of our top movies yep. of all time. It just is. So good. It's if it's cares. on, I'm watching it. <laughs> it's so good. And it's, <laughs> it's yeah. one of those movies. It's almost like 15 years old. As I was just have... about to say, how old is forgetting Sarah Marshall? It has to, I think it's, it's like 2008, it's... which is pr- like, oh yeah, almost 15 years old. Man, that's. That's insane. I was. You nailed it. Wow. Is it really 2008? <laughs> Jake's good at that. Heck yeah. He's a trivia kind of guy. I'm on. No, I'm only good at like dating movies from like 2004 to two, like to 2000 <laughs> and like 12, like my formative years. You know what I mean? How yeah, like, yeah. the guy in 10 days? Yeah. Jake's on it. <laughs> oh, that was earlier. That was like 2000. Oh, but you can quote the Dickens out of that movie. That's a my great... love for. Like <laughs> <laughs> let her love. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Can't see and can't, can't hear. Can't see and can't hear. <laughs> I just watched you got mail today while I was decorating oh, the did. house. I love that movie. While I was doing a little holiday cheer around the house, I was yeah. watching you've got mail, which is great. I love that one too. Which that is a sentence that uh young people don't even they're like, well, of course you got mail. The mailman came. Like, they don't even know what that means. <laughs> they don't remember the, ma- the mailman bringing you all the free AOL CDs. Yeah. So you could <laughs> sign up and hear the man tell you, you've got mail. Yeah. <laughs> you've got mail. Oh, my gosh. This is the best. This is, a is nos- best. Uh, like a nostalgic yeah, podcast right now. It's having the best time. Back in my day, do you believe in the Ouija board? Mm. have you guys seen buzzfeed unsolved yeah it's great we just we just binge watched all of them yes and every time they bring out the ouija board it is hilarious yeah what's it on it's on youtube it's on youtube the number one network of all time it's also on hulu (laughs) is it on hulu Mm -hmm. oh it's fun Uh, i don't think all of it's on hulu um I think it's only some of it, but they do have it on It's Hulu. so good. It's these... I love bad ghost shows. Oh, it's everything. Ghosts, That's, murders. I mean, they, yeah, it's like these two guys, and they just go explore these like haunted places. They've been doing it for like, yeah. what, like seven, eight yeah. years or something like that. And they, yeah. it's incredible. And they pull out Ouija yeah. boards and- One's a believer yeah. who's scared of everything. And the other is a skeptic who's like, yeah, right. And yeah. And they're like, we're going to go explore <laughs> the basement. 
alone. And the guy who's not afraid is like, oh, what beautiful decor down here. This is quite lovely. And he's walking around in like creepy freaking places. Yeah. And the other guy's having a heart attack he's upstairs. Sweating it's, and crying. Awesome. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, no. I, I feel like. <laughs> I feel like Ouija board is like, like. I believe. That. Who's the one who's going to do it? Yeah. You know, like. Yeah, there's a lot of room for manipulation. I feel like if I was playing a Ouija, like if I was doing it in like then at that mo exact moment, I would think that it's real because <laughs> because somebody would slide it around and, and it would creep scared. me out. Yeah, I'd be super scared. Uh, but right now, I when I, I, it does give me the willies, I would never want to touch one. I've never done one. Mm -mm. Well, come on over. Uh, take the train down. And <laughs> <laughs> Abby, have you? Let's get. Yeah, Abby. I have. <laughs> like, How did I it go? Oh, somebody's always pushing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, but I happen to own one currently as well. I haven't used it, but there's yeah. one on my mantle. <laughs> Is it out and ready to slide around at any, like? No, because oh. then it could just start moving. And we don't want that to happen. Let's not do that. We don't, but also we kind of do. <laughs> but we want to be in control. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. You should set it out and then mark where it is to see if it moves. Ooh. That's what you want. Leave it out. Is there? Is there? Is it a game, or is it just? I think it, it's not. I. I think, I think the spirit. Who's the winner? Here? Listen, Who life, is, life is a game, and the Ouija board is. <laughs> well, I don't know. Um, What's the goal? Who's the winner? It's like mousetrap. <laughs> Kinda, yeah. <laughs> Good, yeah, for sure. I think we try. I think we do a big push this year to try to see if we can get sweet families all around the globe to replace putting out cookies to putting out Ouija boards on December 24th and like just that. see what happens. I don't know about that. <laughs> just see what happens. Just real creepy. That I whole think, time I Let's was excited about where he was going with that. I was just <laughs> on board. Just, I was on board with that. <laughs> Jake doesn't always know where he's going with stuff either. He's just like, let's see what I'm going to say. Surprise. That's true. <laughs> We are along for the ride, 100%. <laughs> oh, what is your idea of paradise? Mm. Uh, paradise. Uh, you know, I, I feel like it's a, it's a state of mind, really. Yeah. I mean, it sounds like yeah. I'm joking. No, I really do. I think, <laughs> I think it's a, it's, it's usually it also is accompanied by like a mojito, but it is a state of, <laughs> it's a state of mind um, which you can get to by boat only or plane exclusively. <laughs> and there's a mojito. And uh, no, I if you're asking about places that are beautiful, that feel like paradise, then the answer is someplace. Uh, Abby's a frame. <laughs> i mean honestly yeah like she would choose like a beach and i would choose like ireland where people yeah. are sad like i don't you know um people aren't i would sad. do that too uh, i don't know but yeah i don't know so you would choose a gilded paradise in mm -hmm. essence how did i not make that connection i was waiting for it really I <laughs> you're Listen. messing with me you didn't make that come on we released that oh yeah <laughs> what is this <laughs> I imagine actually, going back in time and explaining podcasts to people it's like radio it's gonna happen i'm sure yeah <laughs> <clears throat> um do you prefer to be lazy or productive in your downtime uh it depends if you, i've been really stressed out and really busy I want, I need a lazy day. I need a day to not have responsibilities because <laughs> I, I like to get things done. And, you know, I'm a big fan of lists, to-do lists, crossing things off my list. It feels so good. But then there comes a time when you're like, if I have one more thing to do, I might lose it. And then you got to go, okay, I'm going to have a relaxing day. I'm going to watch You've Got Mail. <laughs> but there's, there's got to be lazy days every once in a while. But it definitely has to be lazy days. Every once in a while. But I feel like the older I'm getting, the more that I just need to, I don't know, like today. Today was technically a lazy day, but I was like doing stuff all day. I was like running errands and making our yeah. house. 
taking you. down Halloween decor and putting. Yeah, up I, I, I think it's I, I don't know. I like a I like a lazy I like a lazy rainy day watching movies, but I also like to get stuff done. I don't know. But her job is stressful. Do you think uh, that you can be lazy? I, let me how do I say this? I, th- I personally think you can be lazy and productive. Like I think Jake, you'll agree with this. Doing little things around the house to me is relaxing. Yes, me too. You know, like this weekend, this Saturday, I'm really looking forward to cleaning up the garage and like making some artwork that I've been putting off. That sounds I nice. like the artwork. Yeah. What kind? I, uh, I bought like new like paints and stuff like that from, oh. from Hobby Lobby. I love Heck yeah. It. And then I was traveling all weekend. So I, it's been like two weeks since I bought them and I'm looking forward to it. See, that sounds like a good relaxing day. Yeah. You know. Jake, yeah. Jake calls that putzing. Yeah. Oh, you gotta, okay. Like, just putzing around, you know, like yeah. you're doing the things you like, you're working, but it's, it's what you like to do. And so putzing. it feels yeah. relaxing, but you're accomplishing little yeah. things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What kind of paints are you using? Um, whatever they had really? I, don't know. I, tr- I try not to think about it. i just go go for it and make like whatever that. i have i i use a lot of found wood fine and, well that's yeah. awesome and i use like if i have uh i try to recycle a lot of stuff and glue things and then i mail them to my friends like abby that's so cool when this is over we'll give you our address <laughs> yeah we'll mail well we gotta send you mugs so uh, that's oh sure. yeah you yep. do i won't break them I, <laughs> I might i probably will if you do though you have to take a photo of it on the ground <laughs> like when you break it oh no, my we'll gosh post, we'll post the photo <laughs> oh no <laughs> <laughs> it's modern art uh let's circle back to lists because abby has a fun little list trick that i have copied and i want her <gasps> to tell you about it hit me with it Um, The first thing on every list I make, because I live off of lists, is make a list. So when my list is done, I can cross something off. Oh, yeah. Already being productive. Oh, yeah. Wait, like you have make a list on your... It's the very first thing on the list. I love it. Okay, that's that's actually probably feels so satisfying. It does. Yeah, that's nice. And then it keeps you motivated because you're like, oh, look, I did a thing. Yeah. Oh, I love doing things. (laughs) <laughs> I, I don't know anyone who doesn't work on li- like I work on like a list I know tomorrow all the stuff I have to do and it's little things it's like you know clean the fish tank or whatever mm-hmm. I don't have a fish but, uh, <laughs> but the tank is really dirty <laughs> the tank is so <laughs> it's the only spiders <laughs> oh nope <laughs> I have to go now <laughs> Ew, gross. I get it I get it I feel like um, there's people that like function with lists and then there's like list people. Yeah. Like, I am a list person. Like it just feels good. Like I will at work, I'm known as like people will say, <laughs> like, do you have your your uh murder list? Because it I look like a psychopath. Because <laughs> my list is like so intense and it's by color. And, and it's I, covered in blood. <laughs> and it's, it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like steve buscemi and happy or what is it billy madison his character. <laughs> oh my gosh people don't know about that movie no that's one that's an old one and back in my back Adam's in my made day. good films <laughs> <laughs> uh what's the best prank you ever pulled or what's the best prank ever pulled on you wow hmm pranks that's a good prank i feel like i i feel like i do a lot of tiny little pranks we love tiny like, little pranks are the best ones you know yeah like when i pretended i was blind oh that was bad we were dating wait, what? <laughs> listen it's wait hold on that sounds so bad that sounds very bad. bad no you guys you okay wait no listen what have i done uh you're in big trouble you can't get out no okay we were dating and i was like i had a headache yeah the only reason i thought of this because we were literally just talking about this the other day yeah we were like two days ago we were talking about this and i had a headache and i was like oh babe rub my face 
your sinuses. So she, she was rubbing my face, yeah. rubbing my sinuses on my, around my nose, and then she ran her fingers yeah. across my eyes. And then I, it feels good when it you feels have a little great. pressure on your eyes. And then I opened my eyes, and with a look of terror, I said, "I can't see." And I she, can't see. I, can't I can't see. see. And I started to. Yeah. And then I look panicked. Listen, this is not a joke, guys. I don't listen. If you're listening don't to this do podcast, this don't do this. Yeah. It's mean and don't do it. But I did it so that you don't have to. And then anyway, so I did that. Oh, I hate, you, I hate that you asked this question. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're a bad man. What have you done? You're and you bought man. it? She I bought did. it. I'm a trusting person. We were also still dating. Like we were still new in the relationship. So she didn't know how twisted I was. I believed him. So my, I was like, panic. This is an emergency situation. Remain calm. So I was just like, you're okay. You're okay. And I was going to talk him through (laughs) like what we were going to do next. I hate that. I I hate How long did you make it go on or let it go on? He felt, he felt remorse. when I let it go on. For six days, no, no, no. it was You're like crazy. bumping into things. And like- I went to the doctor. No, I, I was like, it was like ten seconds. Oh. Uh, anyway, what was the next question? <laughs> <laughs> Here's a softy. Do you have a full length mirror in your home? Yes. Heck yeah. Yes, we do. We do. That was a backup question in case it got awkward. It says good, good, good. Oh, why, uh, you waited in case too long. Mirrors. You waited <laughs> too long to ask the backup question. In case of emergency, break mirror out. Break mirror question out. Yeah. No. Uh. Yeah. We have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We got a lot of little mirrors around the house. Mm-hmm. Our house is 100 years old, and there's a bunch of mirrors in it. So those two things aren't related. Like, yeah. just, oh, I feel like it sounds creepy. I feel like the way it she does. said it made it feel like they were built in, but they are not. But Those mirrors are portals. Oh, yeah. Ouija board. with the Ouija board. Yeah, to Ouija boards. So careful, you know. <laughs> if you could, if you couldn't ever look in a mirror again, how would you go about making sure you look okay? Oh, dude, snap a selfie, my guy. Your whole body. <laughs> My full body, yes. I every morning I take a full body, <laughs> full body selfie. We should full have done body that selfie. Just, it's one section at a time. And then I do, and then I layer up as I, I do a lot of selfies, and I keep adding clothes until I feel like yeah. I'm good. That's good. This yeah. is reminding me a lot of how Cher picked out her clothes in Clueless. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, the so dream cool. with the closet that. Yeah. Everybody wants that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we don't have that going. No, I, how would you do it? Uh, I don't I a lake. I'd find a lake or a reflection. Oh, a you'd... lake. So you would go out, you'd get in your car. <laughs> you drive to a local lake. <laughs> get out of the car. First of all, you're from Florida, bro. So I do not recommend alligator pit. You go, yeah, you're gonna go to a lake and you're not gonna leave the lake. That's yeah. it for you. Okay. <laughs> That's or it. find like a like a I guess any like body water that you're door. about to say is filled with alligators. Uh, <laughs> like something reflective, a building, a glass building. I was just going old school. I was just be like, Jake, how does this look? <laughs> how does this look? <laughs> and then I would say, I don't know. I can't see. And then, <laughs> you're bad. And then, Cause it's been That's 10 it. years. I've been, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She still thinks I can't see. You've been faking that you can see in your action. <laughs> it's reversed. <laughs> You're done here. What is happening? <laughs> what is happening? Welcome to bothering the band. This yeah. is <laughs> simple, real simple, stupid question. Bold or italicized? Bold or italicized? Oh, italicized. Ooh, italicized. It's, it's sassy. It's like, Ew. yeah. That's but how I read it. Bold mind. is aggressive. Italicized is like, let's go. And bold is like, no, I'm here. This <laughs> 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 is that was the best. <laughs> how was it again? Do it. Let's. What is it? Oh. <laughs> Let's, let's go. go let's go and bold is i'm here i'm here <laughs> oh my goodness 
<laughs> yeah, that was the best answer ever. Uh, what's next for mirrors? <laughs> what's next? Yeah. Uh, uh, well, you know, we just released the album. Uh, Gilded Paradise. I, Gilded Paradise. Mm-hmm. Everyone uh, go listen to it and follow yeah. mirrors on Instagram. It's just mir- M-I-R-O-U-R-S. That is correct. Yeah. Uh, what's next for us for mirrors? I mean, we we're obviously not gonna go do another album right now because we're you know, <laughs> we need a minute on that. Yeah, we need a minute on that one. But um, I think probably next for us is um, you know, we we didn't get to we had last year, before last year, like at the beginning of last year, we were like working on a big mid like tour and all this kind of stuff for the first album and we didn't get to do any of that because 2020 um you know obviously if you don't know about it then back in my day it was terrible (laughs) um but yeah so i mean we we'd like to yeah start doing live stuff we um we've got some cool little studio things in our studio here that we've been talking about that we want to do um it's a beautiful studio by the way those who can't uh, can't see it it's spectacular looking thank you um yeah we yeah we love it um so you know that kind of stuff and then just try to get try to keep keep you know spreading i mean we we write music and we love uh to write music because we want people to hear it i mean Mm -hmm. so Mm -hmm. you know to get to do what we can to get the the word out you know this kind of stuff this is like so fun and um, you know, do more things like this and whatnot, but yeah, I mean, get out there and do some right now, live stuff. Yeah. The, right now, the, the next thing is just trying to take the last year and a half of working on Gilded Paradise and, you know, do the best we can with it to make it whatever it's supposed to be. So, yeah, that's amazing. Uh, we'll tour to South Florida and to Wyoming so we can hang out <laughs> and we will come through Sacramento with some mugs and some Ouija boards and, and some DVDs, Can't wait. you know, <laughs> no VHS. Years. Don't even bring a DVD. Yeah. We can all watch I'm 21 looking... Jump Street. Yeah. The OG. The OG. <laughs> that first episode, I watched the first episode of 21 Jump Street recently, and it starts with a family being taken hostage. Mm-hmm. Scene one, episode one. <laughs> cool. well, there you go. Right out the gates. Why'd you stop? <laughs> Because I was scared, and then I saw a ghost. There's a whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> then I saw a ghost. <laughs> I'm looking at a box of VHS tapes right now. Those are haunted. I have a whole haunted. box. Yes, it's haunted by uh, Jim Carrey and oh. what I can I, right now. Jim, the Majestic. Do you remember that film? Heck yeah, a, I do. It's about a movie theater. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. And stepmom starring this is legit starring uh, Susan Sarandon and Julia Roberts. It's great. That's all I can see from here. Wait, what's up? Mm. Do you really have a box of VHSs? Yeah, my little sister sent. Uh, so actually, if you give me your address, you'll see what I use them for. All right. For uh, have have Haley. Um, Haley's your manager of PR. She, yeah, I don't sure. know. I don't know. Well, she's doing a great job because she that's how we found up. you. Yeah, she set this up. Shout out to Haley. I hope you listen all the way through. Um, you know, while you're eating Chipotle and listening to John Mayer. Oh, <laughs> Chipotle. We, this has been so much fun, and it's because of because of her reaching out to us. So we're very Aww. stoked that. Well, we are uh, very grateful for her as well. If you're listening, thank you, Haley. Love you, miss you. <laughs> and I will send you some VHS mail everyone that's been our episode with mirrors go listen to their new album gilded paradise follow them on instagram mirrors m r m r m i r o u r s yes this is bothering the band follow us on instagram it's just bothering the band thank you so much this is a great episode that is that is very cool and and really this is a this is dope this is (laughs) you two are so fun yeah this was a lot of fun
It's the colors that together we create 